Hello everyone. I hope that you are doing fine during these unprecedented times. So I'm going to discuss for today some examples and applications of moving trihedral of space codes. So I hope you will enjoy this simple online discussion about the moving trihedral with some uh, simple examples. So first, let's check out what we have learned from last time. So given a smooth curve C defined by a vector valve function RP, is given by three real valid functions f j and h of t uh, as components. The moving trihedral of C is given by the three unit vectors. So the first one is the unit tangent vector, which is defined by t of t equals the derivative r prime of t of r of t all over its length, wherein the length of a vector is defined as the square root of the sum of the squares of the components. The next one is the unit normal vector n of t, which is defined by the derivative t of t prime of t of, of t of t divided by its length. And finally, the unit binormal vector, which is defined by b of t equals the cross product of t of t with n of t. Alternatively, we can also compute the numic binormal vector as follows. We first compute the cross product of r prime of t with r double prime of t, and then we divide it by the let of this cross product. These three unit vectors form a three-dimensional coordinate system called the TNB frame, and they satisfy the right-hand rule as follows. So as you may notice, we can actually compute the three unit vectors alternatively as follows. So for instance, we can compute the unit normal vector m of t as a cross product of b of t with t of t, and we can also compute the unit tangent vector t of t with, uh, which is equal to n of t times b of t. So in other words, we can compute one vector as a cross product of the other two vectors. So given a point p on a smooth curve c, we now define the following planes through p. First one is the oscillating plane, which is formed by t of t and n of t. The second one is the rectifying plane, which is formed by t of t and b of t. And the third one is the normal plane, which is formed by n of t and b of t. So using the right-hand rule, we can now deduce the respective normal vectors of these planes. So for the oscillating plane, the normal vector is a unit by normal vector b of t. For the rectifying plane, the normal vector is the unit normal vector n of t. And the normal plane has normal vector, which is the unit tangent vector t of t. So for our first example, let's find the moving trihedral of the vector valve function r of t defined by t cubed over 3 t squared 2t at the point where t equals 1. So first, let's compute the necessary derivatives. So we have r prime of t equals the vector t squared 2t2 and r double prime of t equals 2t20. So if we set t equals 1, we will get r prime of 1 is equal to 1, 2, 2, whose length is 3, and r double prime of 1 is the vector 2, 2, 0, whose length is 2 squared of 2. We next compute the cross product of r prime of 1 with r double prime of 1 as follows. So we set the determinant of the matrix whose first row is the component ijk. The second row is the component of r prime of 1. And the third row is the component of r double prime of 1. So to get the first component of this cross product, we delete the first column and first row, thereby obtaining the submatrix 2220. And then we ne next compute the derivative the der determinant of this submatrix. So in this case, we have 2 minus 2 times 0 minus 2 times 2. So this gets negative 4. For the second component, we delete the first row and the second column, thereby obtaining the submatrix 1, 2, 2, 0. So in this case, we calculate the negative of the determinant of this submatrix. So in this case, we have so the determinant is 0 minus 4, so negative 4. And then we negate it to get the second component, 
negative 4. And then the third component is computed as follows. We delete the third column and first row, thereby getting the sub matrix 1, 2, 2, 2. And then we compute the determinant of this sub matrix. This gives us 1 times 2 minus 2 times 2. So this gives the third component negative 2. So we see that the cross product of r prime of 1 with r double prime of 1 is the vector negative 4 for negative 2. So, so we now have some obtained values, so we can now compute that unit tangent vector t of 1, which is given by r prime of 1 over its length. Since the length of r prime of 1 is 3, so this gives 1 third, 2 third, 2 third as the vector, which is the unit normal, an unit tangent vector of t at t equals 1. Next, we now compute the unit by normal vector b at 1, which is given by this formula. And the numerator is given by the vector negative 4 for negative 2. And then we now compute the length of this vector, which is equal to the square root of 16 plus 16 plus 4. So this gives us the square root of 36 or 6. So therefore, our unit binormal vector at 1 is given by negative 4 over 6 or 2 thirds, 4 over 6 or 2 thirds, negative 2 over 6 or 1 third. So the vector negative 2 thirds, 2 thirds, negative 1 third is the unit normal, or rather unit binormal vector at t equals 1. And then finally, the unit normal vector n of 1 is equal to the cross product of b of 1 with t of 1. So we compute the cross product using the determinant and following similar arguments as that of computing r prime of 1 times r double prime of 1, we will get the unit normal vector n of 1 to be the vector 2 thirds, 1 thirds, negative 2 thirds. So these three vectors constitute the uh, moving trihedral at t equals 1. So our next example uh, concerns about the unit tangent vector t at t equals pi in the equation directly time plane at t equals pi with the given r of pi equals 1, 4, 3, t prime of pi equals negative 1, negative 1, 0, and b of pi to be the vector negative square root of 6 over 6, square root of 6 over 6, square root of 6 over 3. So observe that we, uh, there is no given information about the derivative r prime of r at t equals pi. So we cannot use the formula for, get, for the unit tangent vector as follows. So instead, we need to find first the unit normal vector n of pi, and then we use the formula t of pi equals n of pi times b of pi. So we compute the unit normal vector n of pi as t prime of pi all over its length. So this is equal to the vector negative 1, negative 1, 0 over its length. And then the length of this vector is square root of 2. So this gives negative 1 over square root of 2, negative 1 over square root of 2, 0 as the unit normal vector n at pi. So we now obtain t of pi equals the cross product of n of pi with b of pi. Then we compute the unit tangent vector by calculating the determinant of this matrix. And we obtain the vector negative square root of 3 over 3, negative, uh, rather, square root of 3 over 3, negative square root of 3 over 3 as the unit tangent vector. On the other hand, the normal vector of the refer prime plane at table pi is n pi, so the equation is given as follows. The equation is negative 1 over square root of 2 times x minus 1 minus 1 over square root of 2 times y minus 4 equals 0. So as you can see here, um, the coefficients of x and y comes from the first two components of, of n pi. As you can see, we don't have 
C component here because the third component of n of pi is zero. And the coefficients one and four comes from the first two components of R of pi. So our next example here is to find the equation of the normal plane to the curve defined by R of t equals 40i minus 2 sine tj plus 2 cosine tk at the point where t equals 5. So to get the equation of the normal plane, we first find its normal vector, which is the unit tangent vector e of pi at t equals 5. So we compute r of t to be the vector for t negative 2 sine t 2 cos t and r prime of t to be the vector for negative 2 cos t negative 2 sine t. So setting t equals pi, we get r prime of pi to be the vector for 2 0 with length 2 square to 5. So we see that t of pi equals r prime of pi divided by the length of r prime of pi. So this is equal to the vector for 2, 0 over its length. So this gives us the unit tangent vector 2 over square root of 5, 1 over square root of 5, 0. So computing r of pi to be 4 pi, 0, negative 2, we now obtain the normal plane with this equation. 2 over square root of 5 times x minus 4 pi plus 1 over square root of 5 times y minus 0. So again, there is no c variable involved here because the c component of the unit tangent vector is 0, or the third component is 0. So our next example deals with a smooth vector value function r of t that satisfying the given values here. So our goal here is to find the equation of the oscillating plane of the curve traced by r at t equals 2. So to get the equation of the oscillating plane, we first find its normal vector b of 2 at t equals 2. So first, let's compute the cross product of r prime of 2 with r double prime of 2. This is equal to this determinant here. And by computing this determinant, by deleting some uh, rows and columns and computing the determinant of the submatrices, we get the vector negative 8, negative 4, 10 as the cross product, these two vectors. So, so that we compute now the unit binormal vector b at b of 2 to be this uh, vector over its length. So the numerator becomes the vector negative 8, negative 4, 10 all over its length. And then the length of this vector is given by the square root of 64 plus 36, or rather 64 plus 16, sorry, plus 100. So this gives us the square root of 180 or 6 square root of 5. So therefore, this unit binormal vector B of 2 is given by the vector negative 4 over 3 square root of 5, negative 2 over 3 square root of 5 and 5 over 3 square root of 5. So with r of 2 equals negative 1, negative 1, 4, we can now get the equation of the oscillating plane given by this equation. So as you may notice, the coefficients of x and y and z comes from the components of this unit binormal vector. And then, as our last example here, let's now find the equation of the normal plane to the graph of R at R of 0 equals 0, negative 7, 1. If we are given that the unit normal vector n of t is the vector cosine 40 over t, sine 40 over t, and negative 2 square root of 2 over t, and b of 0 to be the vector 2 square root of 2 over t, 0, 1 over square root, 1 over 1 third. So to get the equation of the normal plane, we first find its normal vector, which is the unit tangent vector t at t equals 0. Because t of 0 is equal to the cross product of n of 0 with b of 0, and n of 0 equals the vector 1 third 0, negative 2 square root of 2 over 3. We compute t of 0 to be this determinant here. 
So which is equal to the vector 0, negative 1, 0. Because R of 0 equals the vector 0, negative 7, 1, the equation with normal plane is simply given by this formula. Negative y, negative quantity y plus 7 equals 0. As you can see here, uh, there is no coefficient of x and c because the unit tangent vector has first coordinate or first component 0 and third component 0. So, so I hope that you uh, enjoy some simple examples of the moving trihedra. So for you, in order for you to practice and to learn more skills of the moving trihedra, so I will leave to you some of the following exercises. Thank you very much.